I'm using Repo to automate my band's live shows. Um, I use Guitar Rig 5 and Native Instruments Control Rig Pedal. Uh, and there's an issue with Control Rig and Guitar Rig 5. If I have multiple Guitar Rig 5 VSDs loaded, uh, the Control Rig Pedal gets confused and is unable to function. So what I have to have is one instance of Guitar Rig running, um, but I need to be able to automate Guitar Rig for individual songs. So in each song, I have a Guitar Rig track with the automation, but Guitar Rig is disabled in each song. And what I do is, when I need to play a song, I jump to the next song, copy all the MIDI items, copy the audio tracks, paste them into the player, where the active or online instance of Guitar Rig is located. Uh, to do that, I have a bunch of presets. You'll see next song, so on and so forth. Uh, next song basically executes these seven presets in order. So let's see it work. Here's the player. Here's three songs. I'm going to click on next song. It's going to come here, copy everything, paste it in here, and get it ready to play. When that happens, you're also going to, and when I start the song, you're going to see Guitar Rig change presets. So here we go, next song. It's ready to play. Watch Guitar Rig, I'm going to play it. Now these automations here, these automations up here will change the different container states to on or off. These containers are the actual patches or presets for each section of the song. Next song, not going on, not much going on here. I'm gonna hit play. Guitar is gonna jump to my fly patch, and there we go. And next song, ready to play Vertigo. When I hit play, it's going to jump to the Vertigo patch in Guitar Rig. And there you go.